ein Onita. I am the Heizmeister and this is probably the last episode of the Ashes of the Empire co-op campaign with Demadog because we have reached the final faction boss headquarters. We have reached the Onyx Watch headquarter and it's now time to enact the final battle. And one last confrontation before we achieve victory. Now then, there's some other announcement I have to make now. Um, the next Adventure Mode episode, or any FTD content at all for that matter, uh, will be delayed uh, quite a bit because I have next to no time to record or even edit anything. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, less than optimal. Um, you, yeah, please excuse the uh, drought of content in the next few weeks though. Regardless of that, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy Demma and my last battle of this campaign. And here we go. All right. There's the enemy, three rhinos. Um, yeah, that looks kind of scary. Those rhinos in this version are no joke. Nope, they are Receiving. dangerous. And our artillery is moving. Yeah, you might want to bring the artillery in for this. Um, do we have any aircraft in in these groups? Uh, let me just have a look. Uh, um, against rhinos? No, I don't think it is. Okay. All is fair in love and war. Rhinos then. are scary. Let's uh wait no wrong F key. Let's do this. Like from the depths after APS nerf scary. Uh, okay, that one seems like it's still being put together. Uh, yes, it's a early access Crusader tank. Yes, supposed to be a snarky comment there. <laughs> yeah, that's the good stuff. Let's see what it can do against this rhino. Go! Kill! Go forth and die! And... That's it! The rhino seems to be... On to yeah, a uh, you're getting it within the same neighborhood, so that's... Yeah. Good that's enough for this. That's for a gram. Paladin Is that using... Hmm. What was that? What kind of shell is that using? A APHE or...? Yes, APHE. Okay. With um, an emphasis on AP. Yes. Because lambs aren't doing shit to those shells, it looks like. Man, we're just pounding the ever living shit out of them. But we are getting pounded in return, it seems. Say goodbye to one Gustav. Yeah. Ouch. I know, it's still popping off shells. That Those one... are heat shells. Ooh. Come on. There we go. Shell on the way. And... Now it decides to move. Of course it does. Yeah. Oh. I think it has found a new target. Yeah. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of that tank from... Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. I don't think I've seen it. Oh, you should, it's great. Oh, this Just don't watch is... Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, that one's horrible. Yeah, I've I've actually seen that one. And yes it is. Rumors of another Indiana Jones movie, but I don't know if that's really going to happen or not. That's uh, surely not with Harrison Ford. He's not getting any younger, if that's what you're trying to say. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I saw it in the new Star Wars movies. That, uh, well, age has I think he, Yeah, I heard he, like, age. begged, um, what's-his-face to, uh, basically kill his character. Um, who was it? George... Uh, Lucas? Yeah. Oh. Well, 
that's up. We will still have a few of our vehicles uh, left alive. The Gustavs have taken damage, but they are still still rolling, still shooting. And the Paladins have now managed to circle around the Rhino and are engaging it as well. So they have APHE shells as well, uh, indicate, uh -huh. indicated by those yellow tracers. But ooh. I don't know what that was, but that, that was, was spectacular. A main turret detonation. Well, I'm not complaining. <laughs> Completely disintegrated. Take that. Yes. Oh, second rhino. And immediately blasting away. So let's have a little bit of air support. I want to have a Berserker now. Crack in the sky might do pretty good too, but because it's dropping all those frag bombs, it might disable a lot of weapons. Ooh, that was a good turret detonation there. <laughs> that was... That was actually bullseye. Yeah. Right up there in the turret. Big explosion here. I think we might use a Crusader tank. Nope. Still fired. So if you had to name a favorite build for this series, what what one would it be? Oh, that's... That's mean. I, I, I can't decide. <laughs> I'm, you had a lot of good ones. I'm between the Sturmträger, uh, Gustav, awesome, yeah. Artillery... Um... The Paladin tank... And uh, the Sword in the Wind... Sword of the Wind has been a very useful and versatile platform for those high explosive bombs, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's gimmicky, but it's still functional. Mm -hmm. uh, the Overlords! Also, the Overlords were fun, yeah. I just can't decide. I'm kind of leaning towards Gustav myself. Yeah. Gustav uh, certainly had an impact in this campaign. I and think that was Berserker. Oh, no. No, you You know what? Two, what? two vehicles. What? Gustav and Scudley. Ooh, Scudley, yes. Scudley yeah. yeah, was fun. I think I'll settle for both of those. And here we go. Third Rhino on the field. Yeah, we've been doing pretty good so far. Yeah. But mostly just like massive cream spam. Cram spam. I don't see there's anything wrong with it. No. I'd welcome cram spam any day. At least over missile spam. Very, very good in this setting because you don't really fight at very long ranges. I mean, you don't have to fight at very long ranges after all, if you don't want to. Typically, though, I find most of the fights you're probably going to do within 500 to 1,000 meters in ashes. There's your chaos device. Yep, causing chaos, hopefully. It does have missile defenses and a... Uh Radar scrambler, I mean sensor scrambler, so. Yeah, let's hope. They don't get uh, stuck on the little radar there? Nope. Good dinner. Yeah, those were way off. It's working. So I get chaos devices working, yes. Yeah. yeah, but um, one thing I've always wondered is if there could be. Uh, an ashes version where you have no volume limits, but you can uh, essentially build those rolling, uh, rolling fortresses, kind of like the Onyxbox Shrine on here. Uh, in the current version of Ashes of the Empire, you can actually turn that off and on. Ah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So. 
So, uh, because I've recently seen a let's play of um, Homeworld, Deserts of Karak, I don't know if you know this game. Yes, I'm familiar with it. I've actually played Homeworld uh, 1 and 2. And they have. That's when they find the uh, the ship with the. Uh, with the hyperdrive, yeah. Yes. And uh, in the middle of the desert. They have these. I mean, one faction has this, this uh, large carrier and those large. Uh, uh, can't say tanks, basically, because they are... It's essentially the mothership for the campaign, yeah, yeah, I get it. It's the mothership, and it deploys these... landships, almost, if you want to call it that. And while the other yeah, faction has Yeah, I think I've seen a playthrough of it. That was, like, a long time ago. Receiving. Kinda like that, Moving. but an FTP. Receiving. Moving. Receiving. So, yeah, Moving. landships, I guess. Listening. Moving out. Receiving. Yeah, I'm surprised no one's tried to do like a command and conquer um, campaign for this. What do you mean, command and conquer campaign? Something like uh, Tiberian Dawn or some shit like that. Oh. Or yeah, yeah, like have uh, command and conquer vehicles in here. And like a, uh, a custom campaign. Right. Who dares to locate us? A radar satellite. I think I think I would let them go ahead and kill said radar satellite because we're about to wrap this thing up. Exactly. This is a futile effort by Onyx Watch to turn the war, but no, <laughs> not today. Yeah, they're going to go after a one lone radar satellite. satellite. That's going to That's make like a what, 4K. Yeah. Moving. If Receiving. at all. Moving. And those rhinos are, Receiving. he's got Moving. like what, maybe a dozen there? They're Receiving. like 32,000 kit? Or, yeah, 32 oh, more something like that. Yeah. Crusader. So, what do we have here? Wait, before everything goes up in smoke. I'm assuming it's another rhino. It's another rhino, okay. Yeah. Well then. Uh, the shit. Um, yeah, it appears that our shells have forget been... about that bug removed from the battlefield. Sometimes they kind of disappear. They, go they the tile. teleported over there. Yeah. Oh. Kind of weird that. And I would have missed anyway, so. First ones usually do. And there goes one turret. Yeah. But yeah. I wouldn't mind a land campaign with land battleships. Rolling yeah, that could totally be a thing. I mean, we were talking about maybe doing like a, uh, what was it, a community uh, ashes campaign? Oh yeah. At some point. Maybe. Is that something you'd still be interested future. in? I'd be interested in it, but only after the campaign designer has received some updates and uh, I finished the custom campaign. Oh yeah, yeah, no rush on or anything. Uh, I, I might be willing to give from the devs another look after they fix the campaign. Just, I'm just entirely too burnt out on this. I I can understand this. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it! Didn't take out the uh, APS gun there. That thing is probably the most um, dangerous armor on this whole rhino. Mm -hmm. Cause those are heat. Rounds. And it shows. We have lost Receiving. one booster. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. Actually, let's bring in the buzzer. I thought those were just high explosive. No. I guess I'm mistaken. I think. Hang on. Let's confirm this. Yeah, that's that looks like heat. Is this heat or what hollow point? Views? It could be hollow I'm point. pretty sure that's heat. Okay. Let's see if we see heat particles. That was high explosive. Now what kind of head is on that? It might be shooting mixed rounds too. That's something I do an awful lot. Stuff. Uh, we are losing our artillery here. I've brought yeah, in our tank hunters. Pretty lucky hits in there. Fire coming in any second now from those forces. What's it firing at? Stuff. 
things. Oh yeah, we lost the... Uh, we lost the good stuff here. Receiving. Take those out. And the Berserker should be on the field right now, but it seems like this Rhino is uh, putting up quite a fight. Yeah. The last three seemed a little easy mode, didn't they? Yeah. Maybe we just uh, landed a few lucky shots. Quite possibly. But trying to take these out it usually can be quite a bit of a struggle. But we do have a massive block count advantage over them, I imagine. Yeah. We do. There's the Yark Panzer. With its uh, raid assisted hash gun. Yup. No, I ended up making like a 8 meter or 500 millimeter uh, tank destroyer for my solo run of hashes. That thing was pretty nasty. Um, I called it the Hand of Doom. Did it deliver? Oh, it did. Oh, okay. Pure railgun. And... Good hit. But this APS gun is still active. Yeah, but I think it got its... Uh... Did you see Sensors it? Knocked out. The lamps from the Paladin uh, tanks actually worked. Yeah, but that main gun is still way the hell off. Uh, I think it has lost too many sensor systems. I believe so as well. Okay. I'm you glad know, to so see that the lamps works. Something we could do to just wrap up putting all these tanks up on the workshop is... Uh, you could just like build a platform and have all them dot to it. Then we could just have them all done at once. Oh yeah, like I did with the Onyx Watch. Uh, I... These these rebuilds. Well, that's what I ended up doing with mine after my solo Ashes campaign. I just uh, took all the tanks and like docked them onto like three separate um, uh, fortresses. You know, with the turbines. Yeah. But I had to use like three of them to get up all the craft that I used in that campaign on the workshop. Yeah, I think I will do this. But it'd be a great way to uh, knock out a bunch of them at once. Take this crusader out as well. Uh, did but they will be in like... current version then. What would be in current version? Uh, those vehicles. I'll just ah. release them in as vehicles in current version. They would need some adjustments. Yeah, I I think putting a disclaimer up should be pretty high priority. Yeah. I imagine you had something like that in mind. Oh, look at this. Berserker is coming. Look, I guess I was uh, a little over worried about that thing. Crashing into the ground. Good to yeah. know. It did well. It's a fun plane to use. Especially uh, here where Hash is still really powerful if you don't know what to defend against. Uh, Hash was still doing pretty good in my solo um, quest for Neater campaign. Oh, okay. Uh, Terra Dominatus uses like 12 4 meter by 400 millimeter hash guns and it did pretty well. Though I probably might try switching that up to kinetic sometime in the future, I don't know. Well, if it's worth it. Like pure sable? I'm thinking either that or hollow point. Or I can just do a mixed bag of both. On different turns, of course, Mike. I usually like to combine Ooh. something that does like a lot of block damage with something that does a lot of internal damage. So like uh, heat. 
Well, that's the beauty of hash because it can do both at the same time. Uh, uh, I think crams are perfect for ground combat, as you can see those tracers and where every shot is going. It's not so hectic and fast like APS. Oh, oh yeah, there. Are, here we go. Almost overpowered in ashes. The last headquarter. The Treadstone. That thing's kind of a bitch to kill. Because look at that broadside coming out of it. Of course, it missed. That one didn't. Those. Oh no. Yeah, those were fairly on target. That one. Was that a Gustav it just nailed? Oh, uh, that's what's a Crusader tank. Okay. And I think that's the end of those Jagd Panzers. Uh, let's bring in something to mess with it a bit. Oh, it looks like Berserkers come in for a strafing run. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that one went internal. Call it the cream pie shot. E loot. Yep. Damn, I was single once, just so you know. Yeah, that one is still not dead. I'm telling you, that thing can be beastly. Surprised it doesn't have lamps. It's got a shitload of heavy armor, though. Oh yeah, since you don't need to float, heavy armor is actually no problem at all. That's one of the beauties of building tanks, is you really don't have to worry about weight, like, at all. Maybe if you want to reach a certain speed. Okay, that's the end for Berserker. Yeah. You have served us well, Berserker. Indeed. Let's see how long he stays uh, airborne. Yeah, it looks like uh, those cranes just air burst right from underneath. That was Wouldn't lucky. be surprised if they were timed. Yep, they're timed. That's right. And he's probably gonna face plant here. Uh. Yep. And get rolled over by a paladin tank. What a way to go. Kind of metal, honestly. Yep. <sighs> now I really, really, really want to build rolling fortresses armed with cram cannons. For some reason. After seeing those Onyx Watch uh, tanks. Hmm. Weird. Anyway, looks like you have a laser satellite on the field. Targeting a laser. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I guess this is it for the Treadstone. Are we despawning? Um, not yet, no. Yeah. Uh, should be. 53. 53, it's practically done with. Yep. He's being such an attention whore right now. He's putting his pawn mire, trying to get me to pet him. And, uh, yeah. Yay! There we go. And oh, we only oh, yeah, the making almost <laughs> <laughs> 24 hours. Oh, that's not so much. Ooh. Well, we should have really done it in the part time, of course, which is one minute. Yeah, I'd, well, maybe if you use that one trick that you told me about earlier, that maybe, <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe. Yes. It was a lot of fun, but I'm, yeah, I think it's good that we're finally able to wrap this one up. Well, this was actually kind of all right. I think the Onyx Watch was the most fun.
uh, aside from the, the Steel Striders. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs>